Hello everyone, welcome back to Sun Innovative YouTube channel and we are back with a new video on solar MPPT using fuzzy logic control. So in this video we are going to explain you about the fuzzy logic control on a solar MPPT. So in the last video we have also discussed the MPPT technique for P&O and incremental technique and we have also seen the many results from P&O and incremental. So in this video we are going to compare the both technique and we will conclude that which is the better method and how we can achieve the good properties from the solar system. So now this is the left hand side traditional MPPT technique P&O in which you can see the power curve and IV curve is there. So our aim was the, to track the maximum power. You can see my mouse cursor. So this is the maximum power point and we was tracking this maximum power from the system. And uh, we are not operating our converter between this line to this line. So now only difference is in a fuzzy logic and MPPT P&O. So we can here track each and every point of the MPPT. It means we can track the maximum power from the left hand side this slope and right hand side this slope. So only difference is we can run our system on a maximum steps from the input side. For example in a fuzzy logic there are the four different type of logic we can develop by using the membership function. So in this video we are also going to show you that how to design the membership function and how to design the MPPT fuzzy logic FIS file. So don't skip this video and it will help you to design the fuzzy logic. So you see here we can use this step, use the slope here and we can run our system by this way. So this is the PV curve you can see here. So now it is the power curve. So now our aim is to operate our MPPT between this line and this line. So now I am showing you the simulation. So this is the simulation. So all the component I have already shown you in a uh, recent video uh, in a MPPT P&O and incremental. So you can uh, watch this video and you can uh, learn how to do the mathematical modeling of solar PV system. So we will start with the first irradiation temperature here. This is the signal generator actually. So here I have provided the step function and I wanted to see that how my system is going to behave under fuzzy logic control. And this is the constant temperature which I have set on a 27 degree temperature. And uh, that values are goes to this mathematical modeling of PV system. And these are the displays here. So I am opening this mathematical modeling. You can see this is the last video I have already show you that how to develop this equation. And this is nothing else. This is the modeling of PV array here actually. And uh, whatever the plus and minus sign, it means positive and negative terminal is generated from the modeling that is goes to the boost controller so you can see this is the boost dc to dc converter here inductor that is igbt switch diode capacitor and resistor so now that gate pulse is going to connect with this mppt fuzzy p and o and uh, the another things I, I i would like to tell you this is the measurement these are the mean power measurement and this is the response and this is a solar display here the output of solar and boost output so now I am opening this subsystem of fuzzy logic MPPT. So this is the technique and the algorithm for the mathematical modeling of P and O. And the main important thing that is a fuzzy MPPT here. So this block is available in library also. So I am opening the library. You can write here fuzzy and you can search with these two blocks are there. So the both blocks are same but only difference is here the fuzzy logic controller with rule viewer and this is only the controller so if you wanted to observe that how it is going to work and at which point your rule is going to work and output is going to happen so for that you need to take this block and if you want only run this file and don't want it to observe the rule for individual points so you, ju you just take the fuzzy logic controller only so anyway I am taking this fuzzy logic controller with rule viewer so I can show you that how the rule viewer is going to work so for that block if you connect this like this way so you will need a FIS file for the matrix it means that you need to develop your rules for the fuzzy logic obviously according to the theory so you can if you don't know about the fuzzy so you can read the theory and you can see this video after uh, the, uh, the literature you can uh, you have so this is the FIS matrix here so you have to develop this file first of all so you can't get directly from the MPPT uh, block so you need to design it so I am tell I am show you that how to design that uh, FIS file for the fuzzy logic and how you can how can generate the membership function so before starting this 
fuzzy logic design i would like to tell you something about the fuzzy so this is the the membership functions are there so you can see the membership function you can you need to generate the input variable like this way and you have also generate the output variable and this is the uh, switching table of the um, uh, fuzzy logic and this is the pv curve of the MP mppt p and o technique so now i will show you how to use the uh, matlab simulation software to develop the fuzzy logic so you just go to the first window of matlab okay and uh, this is the home you now you need to go to the apps here and you just scroll down this window and you just write here fuzzy so the first block is here fuzzy logic designer you just open this fuzzy logic designer and this is the final window of uh, the controller so now you need to develop your system here so for example this is the input and this is the output and uh, now uh, according to the algorithm we need the two input voltage and the power so for that you need to uh, take the two input here so you can take here add variable and as a input then input and if you want the output then you can take the output so you just take the input so here the both inputs are there so first input this is the v and voltage means you wanted to control the voltage and second variable you just rename the input p and it means you need to develop the membership function for the power also so according to the theory diagram so let me show you again once more this is the theory diagram fuzzy logic and membership function so it, it means you need to develop this type of waveform in a input and you need to develop the output functions like this way so you can also uh, use the reference whatever you have otherwise you just write in a comment i will provide you the reference files so you just go to the van and you just double click on that uh, values so the one more window is going to open and uh, let me show you this window so yeah, now you are going to develop the va vn you can see here so now this is the range is here so you can develop your range like this way uh, for example i wanted to design for minus 1 to 1 so this is now your new range here you can see minus 1 to 1 and uh, now there are the membership functions are there the only two membership functions are available so now you can select the any membership functions and you can put your value here like this way and if you want to change the function so you can change the function from here so don't worry about it if if you want the new membership function then you must go to the edit window here mm, just one second my matlab is not responding right now okay now it is working fine so now you can see you just go to the edit window and you can add like this here add mf membership function so they will ask that which type of membership function you want triangular membership function trapezoidal and the many more are there okay so you can take any one of them and you can provide the numbers also if you want the single single and then you would need the double then you you just uh, tick on the double so if i'm for example i'm taking the single here so i'm clicking on the one so it will automatically add the one more membership function here so you can see here so now next step is to provide the name here so you can provide the name according to your switching diagram and uh, now i have wanted to uh, give the membership parameters here so i will provide the parameters like this way so for example i wanted to create the membership function like uh, i am putting the value minus 1 then minus 0 0.8 then 0 0.6 so now this is my membership function here so for, sorry uh, this is the minus 0 0.6 not the positive value so the by this way you can see now this is the mf1 membership function of one and like this way you can also select the second membership function and provide the values like for example again i wanted to write here 0 0.6 and uh, next value is minus 0 0.4 and next value is minus 0 0.2 so now you can see this is the second membership function so by this way you can develop your membership function as per your rules and uh, the parameters of your boost converter and the output voltage and everything it is matter so you can use also the power here you can take the membership function 
and you can also develop the output membership functions so after developing all membership function you need to go to the export value and after clicking on export value you can see here the workspace is there otherwise to file is there so if you click on a file so they will ask what is your name of your fis file so you can write here mppt and you can save your file like this way so this is your mppt fis file is saved in your computer and you can use the name of mppt file and you can open the the subsystem and you can rename your file as per the the uh, the saving name you have given in fis matrix file so by this way you can generate the fis rules for the fuzzy logic and you can use that file fis file and to run the simulation okay so now i'm going to run this simulation and to prove the how fuzzy logic is important than the other p and o technique so what is the difference between the p and o mppt and traditional technique so this is time to run the simulation so i'm going to run this simulation now it is time to run this simulation so let us come back to the, the our main model so now this is the main model of the mppt using fuzzy logic control and the pulses are generated from the mppt once again i'm opening this block and you can see this is the pulses and this pulses is goes to the this igbt switch now i'm running this simulation and uh, you can see the results now so it is compiling the file and uh, just wait one minute to run this simulation now it is taking the file from the fuzzy fis file so you can see this is the rule viewer so whatever we have developed the rule here so it will generate the output like this way so this is the basic function of rule viewer and the importance of rule viewer this block and if you take without rule viewer so that window will be not going to open so now that pulses is given and you can see this is the solar output is here and the boost output is also here so now i want to check the response so you can see here this is the response and uh, you can see we have given the irradiance value like step wise so let me open once again this uh, before the signal we have given so you can see here this is the input from the irradiation value and this is the temperature value and uh, this is the response from the boost converter so now i'm again opening the scope and running the simulation again so you can see here the signal will going to track the our input like this way the red line shows the output power and this is the input reference value so you can see here this is the again step we have changed so now you can see the our fuzzy logic is catching each and every points of fuzzy logic input and it will follow the input which reference we have given to the uh, solar mppt system so now this is the proof of the system that uh, fuzzy logic can track each and every step value of uh, the values which we have given from the solar irradiation value and this is nothing else this is the output from the system and let me open the power of uh, boost converter so you can see this is the power as we have given the different step values of irradiance value and let me open the solar plant value here so you can see the black line shows the solar output voltage and red line shows the solar boost voltage and you can easily compare our boost output voltage by step functions we have given to the our uh, the mppt technique so now let me zoom out this window both and open once again this input here so this is the input here you can see and now i wanted to compare our output boost voltage and uh, the mppt technique here so you can see and running the simulation again you can see here so this is the best method to conclude the output voltage you can see this is the role viewer this is the input signals and now you can see the output voltage of solar system and output voltage of boost voltage so it is following the steps which we have already given in as a input from the boost converter so you can see this is the fuzzy logic importance you can track each and every step of the input which we have given to the irradiance value so this is the importance of fuzzy logic the time response of output voltage is also reduces this is the importance compared to p and o method so now i am zooming the time response value so i am showing this time response here you can see the very less response time here so you can see the response time is between 1 to 1.0.02 second it means almost very less time 
in 20 millisecond it will settle down the value of output voltage so this is the importance of fuzzy logic for developing the uh, MPPT for the boost converter so I hope you like this video and if you have any doubt or comment please write in a comment box and uh, thank you for watching this video and subscribe my channel for getting the new information and uh, learning the MATLAB simulation thank you guys thank you very much